would I ever consider a run at a political position? I'm sure you've been. I'm sure I've considered been, it yep. continually. And every time I've considered it, I have decided that what I was already doing was more useful than what I could do on that front. And that hasn't changed. And so I'm, I talk to political figures constantly and I consider political matters, but that isn't my primary focus of concern and it shouldn't be. In this thought-provoking video, renowned psychologist and cultural critic Jordan Peterson delves into the question many have asked. Would he ever consider running for Prime Minister of Canada? Peterson shares his deep reflections on the topic, explaining why he believes his current work is more impactful than a political role could ever be. Peterson's insights offer a powerful message of individual responsibility and the potential for each person to make a significant impact in their own sphere. This video is a must watch for those interested in Peterson's philosophy, political views, and his unique perspective on personal and societal transformation. In fact, I can tell too, yep. in, in, even practically speaking, when I become too political, when I'm tempted, let's say, to become too political, then the effectiveness of what I'm doing wanes rapidly. That isn't why people are interested in the things that I'm studying. They, and, 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 I'm, and that's not primarily why I'm interested in. I'm interested in, well, I was interested right from the beginning in the problem of evil. And, that's, and I thought for a while that that was a political problem. And there are political manifestations of evil, obviously, but evil is not a political problem. It's a metaphysical problem. It's a theological problem. It's a spiritual problem. And it may, it's an individual problem. And, you know, the, the antithesis to that finding fault in the, in the place of others, the group, the, yep. the Americans, the, the, the white people, let's say, the privileged, the powerful, that's an abdication of a certain kind of deep responsibility. So Christ as the Savior is the man who takes the sins of the world upon himself. Okay, and so what does that mean? Well, Dostoevsky figured this out. He, he understood very clearly that that's what people are called upon to do. What's the problem with the world? Fundamentally, you're not everything you could be. That's the problem, truly. And until you sort that out, you should leave other people the hell alone. Now, that doesn't mean you're not called upon to protect your family or any of those things, but it's, it's what Christ is referring to in the Gospels when he tells people to take the dust speck out of their eye. Mm -hmm. No, the log out of their eye, the beam out of their eye, instead of being concerned with the dust speck in their enemy's eye. And see, the, the, the battle between good and evil in the Judeo-Christian conception is transformed into something that's played out in the on the public stage into a drama that plays out in the heart and so you constrain evil in the world most effectively it's the only way of doing it by constraining its expression in your own soul and you do that locally like you do that by by putting into order the relationship that you have with yourself with your wife, with your children, with your parents, with your neighbors, that's where you do it. And it's pride that stops people from doing it because they think that they want to play a dramatic role on the public stage and they despise the opportunities to establish order that are right at hand. And you might say, well, my family's so screwed up that nothing I could do would help. And I would say what that fundamentally indicates is that you have a lot to learn and that you have a lot of opportunity in front of you on that front. It doesn't mean it'll be easy, but that's still the proper domain of concern. And the world is constituted so that every people don't understand this, but it's true. All the possibility that there is, is right in front of you. That's literally the case. It's a very daunting thing to understand and that that's true for everyone. And you think, well, there are these people of privilege and power who have far more opportunity than I do. It's like Christ is born in a manger for a reason, Yep. right? And the reason is, is that you have the world, you don't know this, but you have the world at your fingertips. And part of what that means is that what you do matters. The local things you do matter way more than you think. 
And that's a really positive message because it means that you don't have, I don't have any more opportunity for adventure than you, than you have. And that, that's the same for everyone you meet. Yep. And so that's a world of abundance, that's for sure. Infinite adventure for everyone. That's the central nature of the world, truly. And it's right there. You might be too blind to see it. That's what Christ says too. The kingdom of heaven is spread upon the earth, but men will not see it. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content.